In this Rhino Grasshopper tutorial, we want to model this stair in Grasshopper, and it's a really simple tutorial, so you can see how you can easily use Grasshopper components to produce a stair like this. And because we have attached this to a surface, we can simply just change the surface, uh, move the edges, and update the results. And when we finished, uh, we can simply bake the stairs and have it in Rhino. So be sure to watch the video till the end uh, so you can understand how uh, we can model this. Before we start the tutorial, if you're new to our channel, welcome. You can watch this tutorial up here, which is the basics to learn more about Grasshopper. Okay, let's get started from scratch. And if we want to model the surface in Rhino, it's really easy. Uh, what I have used is to draw a line. Assume that we have a line. You can use the Shift key to use the Ortho command and draw it in a direction. Let's just bring this up. And what I want to do is to draw another line like this, a polyline basically, uh, like this to make the curve and the nerve curve from that polyline. Then we will make the surface and go into Grasshopper. So we can just draw something like this. Remember you have to be uh, using the near snap here so we can move on this line and then we want to bring it down so I'm going to go in here and use the control key and uh, by pressing the control key and clicking I can bring it down and when, uh, then we can click this again we can go to the end use the control key come down and go to here to snap it on the same height okay now I want to move this in a little bit in the y direction and now we can select this go to the curve section and use this tool uh, which is uh, will produce a curve a nerves curve from a polyline so I'm going to use this one and you can see that you can produce a nerves curve from that you can also change that into the curve type into interpolated but this is not what we want we can simply use that control point and hit the enter key and delete the polyline okay so we have this uh, two set of lines and a curve and now we have to bring this into Grasshopper, so I'm going to go to the uh, Parms menu, use a curve, and I have used the Bifocus plugin so you can see what I'm uh, showing you, and right-click, set multiple curves, and set this to these curves. Okay, now we want to make the surface, so I'm going to use the Loft command and connect these curves to together, and we can move it if we want to change the final results. Remember, you can click on the curve and move the control points if you want to change uh, the surface and now what we have to do is to uh, produce a set of curves on this surface which are the steps uh, I'm going to go to the intersection and mathematical and use this contour uh, tool so we have a tutorial about contour if you don't know and want to know more about this command I will put it up here uh, be sure to watch it if you want to uh, make uh, something nice on a door uh, and it's a good tutorial, okay? So we want to make a contour of this shape, which is the loft surface. The point we want to get started is basically the first uh, point of this curve. So I'm going to go to the sets, uh, use the list item, and pick up the first curve. It can be uh, this curve or this one, doesn't matter. If we zoom in, we will have both. And we can go to the curve section and use this point on curve to select the start. So this will be the start of the uh, contour and now we have to give this the direction. The direction is the Y, so I'm going to give this a Y direction, a unit Y, and now we have to give it a distance. So let's just type a number. It's based on your project, so remember you have to uh, check this out and change the number if you want, okay? So this number is basically uh, the width of the step, it's going to extrude it, so we will always have steps with this uh, width. So uh, what we want to do is to go and make an offset. So I'm going to use an offset, and you have to use the offset curve from the grasshopper components, and we can give these contours to the curve. And if you see this, some of uh, them are going to go up and some of, some of them are going to go down. What we can do is to change the plane. The offset of this plane is simply uh, an X, Z plane, right? It's, it can go up and down. So I'm going to give an X, Z plane to the plane and you can see it's going to fix this. 
If you want to give it up direction, you can go to distance, expression, and type a minus x. Remember, you can just make a negative direction for the offset. So now we can give a number for the distance, and this will basically define the height of the strips. So we can control that, and now we have to connect them together. Again, I'm going to use a loft and connect this one to this one with a shift key. Uh, remember, this uh, offset curve is uh, derived from this contours, okay? If you look at them, uh, look at this. You can see it's called 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0002 till the end, and now when you use the offset, it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So it has an extra zero, and that is why it cannot loft it. So we have talked about flatten graph simplify in this tutorial, so watch it if you want to know why. But for now, we can just simplify this one and this one. That means that we don't want to know which one is the next and which one was first. And you can see that it's going to loft them. That's really easy. And at the end, the last step is going to extrude them, EX, in the Y direction. And exactly uh, the same. You can also use that if you want to. For another project, but in this tutorial, because we want to make stairs, we can simply give the same number of the contour to uh, put them together, just exactly uh, the same width, and you can increase this number to put them like that. Uh, if we turn off the loft, you can see that you have the steps and the stairs. We can also go to the display section and connect a custom preview and give, uh, maybe we can turn everything off and give it a color, color swatch to maybe just visualize it uh, in a color. You can also give an edge a color, so we can go to the surface, use this BREP edges, and you can also copy this and give it to the interior and change this color, okay? So you can also change the color just to visualize uh, the results. And as you can see, we can change these numbers. This is the width of the stairs. We can change them. Uh, we can change the height by adding to the offset. Okay, if we decrease that, because each step is going to perform on that surface, it's going to be a less number for the offset. And at the end, uh, what I want to say is that you can extend the surface if you want. Uh, one of the ways you can do that is to uh, simply uh, use the surface like this. Use a loft in Rhino, because this will be hard in Grasshopper. You can use the extend surface command, select an edge, and maybe extend this. So this will be the surface. If you want to use this, uh, you can simply connect a surface to that. Okay, this is going to be the shape we want to and remember because we have changed the pin just set a point to this so i can just set one point and give this as the start you can change that later and then uh, maybe we want to extend this edge you see it's going to make it smooth one and produce another results this is going to be a little bit manual if you want to go into rhino and uh, and you can also use the control shift and click on the edge and move it if you want to change uh, the old shape or the overall shape of the surface. Okay, that was the tutorial of how you can uh, use Grasshopper to let's just delete these things and delete the surface uh, of how you can uh, control this surface. You can also use the Shift key and move these control points forward and. Make it like this if you want to, but the extent surface is great because it's going to give you that flat part of the stair. Okay, thanks for watching. Remember to comment on this video, like this video, and share it with your friends. And see you next time.